Hey everybody, my name is Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Nova Scotia in Prince Edward Island. I get to serve in the beautiful town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia, in the awesome parish of Christ Church Shelburne that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. I give thanks for you all every day. I thank God especially for everything that you share with me and everything that you teach me in your comments and in your emails. Now, I've been talking a little bit about sacrifice. Actually, I've been talking a lot about sacrifice. And, and, you know, to reiterate, I believe that every Christian is called to sacrifice themselves, to give of themselves, to help make the world a better place, to help people have better lives, to help communities thrive and prosper. I truly believe that is the Christian call. Jesus tells us in the Gospel of John, love one another as I loved you. And Jesus was willing to die for us. Therefore, we should be willing to sacrifice for the people around us, for the world around us. It's one thing to say that we are called to sacrifice, but what exactly does sacrifice mean? It means more than giving something. Okay? Sacrifice means giving enough that you feel it. I did actually think of a great story. It was a story that one of my best friends, one of my best friends in the world told me. He was working at a soup kitchen and uh, they would get together on the, on the supper days and they would begin preparing all the vegetables and all the meat and all the different things that were going to go into this, uh, into the meal. And they would begin preparing really early for like a three o'clock supper, right? And they would serve for an hour and then at four o'clock they would close the doors, they would clean up and they'd all be out of there by five. And my buddy, he asked them, he said, why do, we, why do we serve so early? Right? Nobody wants to eat that early. Nobody, people want to eat supper at 5 or 6 o'clock. Why do we serve supper at 3? And the answer he got was, well, we want to be home for supper ourselves. And my buddy said, listen, we're here to do the right thing. We're here to provide a service for, for folks. They don't want to eat at three o'clock. They want to eat at five or six o'clock. We need to push our serving time to five or six o'clock. And if it means that we miss a meal with our family, that's our sacrifice. In that case, sacrifice was costing them something that they felt. They wanted to be home with their family. Everybody wants to be home with their family for supper. They wanted to be home with their family for supper, but they were willing to sacrifice their family time for the sake of the people in their community so that the people in their community could come and have supper at a regular time, at a decent hour. And that's ultimately what sacrifice means. It means giving of ourselves to such an extent that we feel the cost, right? If you give, that's a wonderful thing. If you give a lot, that's a wonderful thing. But if you only give to the point that it is comfortable, it's not sacrifice. So when I say to you that Christians are called to sacrifice ourselves to help others have a better life, it means we need to feel the cost of what it is we are giving. It needs to be uncomfortable. You know, what we are giving, what we are offering, the cost of it should make us somewhat uncomfortable. That's what sacrifice is about. Jesus, when he gave his life on the cross, that great act of sacrificial love that he Whole, that he offers us as an example of what love means. That wasn't a comfortable experience. In any way, shape, or form, that was not a comfortable day. That day cost him dearly. We are called to love one another in that same regard, in that same way. Sacrifice is not comfortable. Sacrifice is 
uncomfortable, if not painful. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and may you forever know the peace of being in God's presence. And I pray that when those opportunities arise for you to sacrifice for your neighbors, you'd be willing to stand in that moment and to give. Amen.